Good morning, everybody. Patty Ann here. I have a fairly quick quick tutorial for you today. I'm going to show you how to make a monogram using the Vine font. Um, it's a free font and I'll have the link down below for you so you can grab it. It's really a really pretty font and as you can see right here on my screen someone has used that font on their car to make a monogram and I have another image here where they've used the monogram and they added different layers of it. So it's three colors of vinyl. This one is not as easy to do in Cricut Design Space. If you'd like me to show you how to do it in Silhouette Business Edition for Cricut, I'd be glad to do that. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll make a separate video. But for this one today, we're just going to be using it in Cricut Design Space one layer. So... Uh, the first thing I need to do is show you where to get it. You'll come to this freesvgdesigns.com and I'll have the link below as I said along with all my other affiliate links although this is not one <clears throat> but I, I do appreciate it when you use those because it helps me to keep my little uh, tutorials going. So anyway I'll have the link for you below. You'll come to this place and you'll come down here and you'll download when you download it, you're going to have to extract it because it will come as a zip file. And then you will have to choose one and double click on it to install. The one that I usually like to install is the OTF file. You'll have a TTF and an OTF. And I usually install the OTF file. So here is mine right here. And when you click on it, it's going to look like this. <coughs> And when you double click on it and then all you have to do is click on the word install and it will install it right away onto your computer which you'll be able to use it in Cricut Design Space after you close it and reopen it. The same with Silhouette Studio however sometimes there's one more little step you have to do in Silhouette Studio and I'll have those steps listed below for you too in case you're strictly a Silhouette user. Alright so I've already installed it and let's go back to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to come to text and I'm going to type in a lowercase a. I'm going to do my daughter's initials uh, and hold down my shift key to a capital N and then another lowercase a. And notice that that comes in in Cricut Sans but I want to change it to the Vine uh, monogram files. So. I'm going to come up here to where it says search fonts and I'm going to type in the word vine and notice the script vine monogram comes up. So I'm just going to click on that and it changes it into these beautiful these beautiful letters. Aren't those pretty? So the next thing I would do though is I don't want them that far apart. So I would come up here to ungroup and then I'll just move them closer together so they're touching. And I'll move them till they're pleasing to my eye. They look pretty good. And that looks good except for I'm going to make sure that the A's are aligned to the bottom. So I'm going to click on the A on the left, hold down my shift key, click on the A on the right, and then come up here to align and align bottom. Okay, perfect. So now all I have to do, and I'm going to zoom in for a minute to make sure that these are touching right here, because I want them to be. Looks like they are. So I'm going to select everything and say weld. And one way I can tell if they're welded nicely is if I come up here and change this to white, I'll be able to see more clearly and definitely they were connected. You see that? And there's no strange little places that I need to um, contour out. If there were, say like this was a crazy little spot right here that I didn't really want it to cut, I could click on the image, come over here to contour, and then I could get rid of that little spot by just clicking on it. 
notice it's no longer going to cut out right there. And if I want to, I actually could do that. So maybe I will just this time. Um, I think I'll do that because I'm going to contour out this one on the top of the N. That one. And I think there's one down here I could contour out. That one. And let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good unless I want to contour this out and I do think I will. So let me go to contour again. And so this just makes a thicker letter. Contour that out. All right, so that still looks really good and I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna change it back to black. And that's really pretty. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do is I could be done with this and I could just go ahead and make it. Or if I want to, what I can do, you know, put it on the decal on my car or whatever, on a notebook, whatever. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to come to images and I'm going to type in the word wreath. And I'm going to grab a wreath to go around this stuff my um, monogram and you can try any one of these that you like I tried the puppy one once it was really cute the paw prints since the font is really jazzy I prefer not to get anything too terribly jazzy for this so I'm going to go way back here and just choose this very plain one and say insert so all I need to do then is just grab a hold of this and make it larger until now I need to click over here on the layers panel because I don't seem to be able to grab that text. I'm going to do that and just center it kind of to my eyeball. I'll be doing this later, you know, on, on the um, object. And I'm going to change this to black as well. And so that could be it. And I could leave it as two colors if you like, you know, put two colors of vinyl on your car. Uh, that one was charging a lot more money because they were using multiple colors of vinyl. So if that's what you like to do, do that. And I actually kind of like that purple. I thought that was pretty. So, and then all I would do is go to make it, I think, let's double check. So there's this all in order the way it should be because it was welded. And here's the purple wreath. And we would just continue on and make it and put it on our car as a car decal. Similar to what we saw here and here. And there was one more that I saw where they had put circles and things around it. But I didn't save that one. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. And I hope you have fun making monograms using the Vine font. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm like five people away from 15,000, so I hope you subscribe. And make sure you look up my links down below. If you're in the market to purchase anything, it helps support this channel and helps me to be able to continue making these videos. Again, one last thing is if you want me to show you how you can make um, multiple layers of the monogram in um, Silhouette Studio Business Edition for Cricut or for Silhouette, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.